Welcome to the finale of the Metroid series for this channel. Metroid Prime Pinball. I am your host, Ultra Director Jester. Here with me always is the Niskull. That's me! That is, that is you. Well, it's been a long journey, starting with the Metroid Zero Mission all the way back in 2021, I think it was. Sounds right, yeah. And it's it's been a long time coming, and it's all led up to this. The final Metroid game, the final official Metroid game that I can play. Metroid Prime Pinball. I feel like it was all leading up to this. Well, what's funny is we kind of avoided this for a while, thinking it would be too expensive to play, and turns out if you just buy the game, you can get it for fairly cheap. Yeah, I mean, the box is way more expensive than the game is, and the game's not all that worth it, really, because it is a very simple pinball game. It's from the same makers of, of Super Mario Pinball Land. Well, let's pinball! I love let's, pinball! Let's pinball, then. We'll just, uh... Actually, I think I'll start out in, uh... The, uh... More simpler single mission to kind of show you how this thing works. There's, like, four courses. We got Talon Overworld, Pirate Brigade, Phazon Mines, and Vendrana Drifts. So it's all based on Metroid Prime 1, is what I'm hearing? It is Metroid Prime-themed pinball. Pinball. Okay. That is essentially it. We'll start here at the Talon Overworld shape. Oh, I love it! it looks, Look how cool it looks! It looks pretty good, though. Yeah! Oh, the burrower bash! All right, beat those burrowers. They, they they do give you these neat little like gameplay things, like uh, they got burrows bash, like met there's like a whole uh, thing where they got a whole bunch of Metroids. Yeah. yeah it's it's a whole bunch of neat things to kind of to kind of to uh, mix it up. The idea is to collect Chozo artifacts, I guess. Oh, beautiful. You see, I got a little bit of a drain stopper down there. Now it's gone. Yeah. Yeah. Well, oh, well, you know, Nintendo missed opportunity to actually make pinball games based on all of your different franchises. So one of the big problems with this game, actually there's two problems, and they are two huge gaps in this game. Two large, noticeable, uh, game-soiling gaps here. What's that? The first one uh, is, uh, of course, the gigantic gap in the middle of the two screens here. It is very egregious. It, it is like, like I know it's supposed to represent you know the rest of the you know the the missing space of the pinball table, but that that gap where the hinge is supposed to be is really really noticeable and really felt. And the second gap is the huge gap between the flippers here. It is enormous. Like I know how pinball is supposed to work, but come on, with no way to bump the table at all. Like even Kirby's Pinball Land had that. Oh, wait, oh, never mind. Okay. Did you find it? I just found it. All right. Hey, hey, idiot. Remember that whole thing at the bottom where there's like a touch screen? The whole thing that the DS was known for? You can like try that now. So so maybe there's more to it than I thought. Okay, so it's just the one gap. And there's also this, this combat mode where you use the flippers and you just what? basically fight up a whole bunch of bad guys. Dude! Again, where the, where the gap is kind of felt, you see. That's kind of neat. You kind of use the flippers to aim yourself. You're kind of auto-firing. And this is all because you spelled Samus and got back into the middle there? I guess. Get your points, though, so that's that's that's, that's kind of neat. Yeah, jack that score up, brother. Yeah, and every, every time you clear a mission, uh, that should be when you get a, an artifact. So if we do this right, we should be able to do it. Ow. Oh, right, there's missiles, I forgot. Oh, shoot. How I do just, you fire missiles? I just used them all with X. X? Okay. There is a special collected. Uh, that's supposed to be an artifact, but I think it's because this is single mission, because we're just, uh... Oh, <gasps> ball jump! Oh! Oh, there's... Oh, that's yeah! so cool! So there's a little bit of depth to it. I noticed but... they're, they're using uh, sound effects from all over the Metroid saga. I think I heard some Super Metroid in there. But I mentioned this to you uh, the, uh, the other day. This is kind of around the, the DS's lifespan, where you didn't have that big of games for it yet. They were all just kind of neat little distractions. Okay. Like, like you know, your your Ping Pals, your, uh... What was it? What was it? Uh, Yoshi's Topsy Turvy or whatever. Mario 64 DS. Well, that was a well, that was a pretty good remake. That was like your only real game that they that they had for you there. I'll agree to that, yeah. <gasps> Multi-ball, but Phazon! That's, that's actually not that's, good. That's bad. That's very <laughs> bad. But for the sake of this argument, it's great. I don't know where the red Phazon comes from. Oh, that's Metroid Prime 4. See, this game solidified Metroid Prime 4. 
I, th I think they just made this to make something that will give people something while they're waiting for Metroid Prime Hunters or any other games for the DS. Hey, that's fine. You know, if out of all the selections that you had at the beginning of the DS's life, I would have been totally okay with this. There's, there's worse ones. Ping Pals is about the the biggest ripoff you could ever hope for. I don't see. I haven't even heard of that game. It was it was supposed to be like a, an enhanced Picto Chat where you had like avatars and games and you could talk with AIs and stuff like that. By AIs, I mean there is a predetermined set of things you could do in single player. But someone else had to have a DS, and instead of just doing on Picto Chat, which is free, you also had to own Ping Pals, which is way too much asking. It's it's way too much of an asking price. For what's actually included in the game. Alright, so out of all the pinball games you've played. Well, uh, first I should ask, how many pinball games have you played? Not very many. Not yeah. very many? I'm gonna duck out of here so we can go to the main the main meat of the game. Okay. Final ball. Let's see it. Oh, final ball? Alright. Yeah, let's, let's see the final ball. Alright, I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and give it one more. Yeah. Look, I locked it. Look. You <laughs> You didn't just have this on your collection, you got it specifically for the people. So let's see some pinball. I got it for completion's sake. Because I always I always thought that this would be the, the Metroid game that I would never have. Because, you know, I don't care about pinball so much, I'm not that big of a fan of pinball. Let alone this pinball, it's, it's not really even a Metroid game. But it's the last official Metroid game I haven't played. Might as well. M might as well. I mean, if you have to have Federation Force, I guess I'll have this. I guess I'll have the good game. <laughs> Gee, thanks. At least this one has Samus in it. G good for you, buddy. And, good and, for you. And given how she loves, you know, the roundness of the Morph Ball, this is probably just a day in the park for her. I'm just thinking, turn on the massage function and just get flown ar flung around by flippers. Like it's after, like, imagine, it's after Metroid Dread, like, like a couple years after. <laughs> and they're like, Samus? Well... You, you, you know, you've, you've done a lot for us, and you've you've uh, you've won with us, and you've lost with us, and you've experienced a lot with the Galactic Federation, and to, to show how much we appreciate your services, well, pinball. Me and the boys in R in, in R and D R and D, we made you a pinball table. Oh and, really? And so she's just she's like, you, you guys really? It's like yeah, you can go in the morph ball and just go around and just uh, yeah, just check it out. It'll be fun. It's like oh, you guys are the best. Now she's just doing this for fun. It's based on your talent for you know incident, all that. That's that's cool. See, I thought you were about to say oh, we made you a pinball table and she is still the ball. So no, no, she is the ball. That's the thing. Oh okay okay. We made it. We made it for you. So we you can roll around. You. The, we can roll around in the in the, in the thing in here. Yeah. What I think would be funny is if one of the That's Federation guys thought of that as like a joke, thinking, oh, she's gonna hate this, finally, we got one over on her, boys. And then she's just like, oh my god, yes. But then Admiral Dan's like, do you even know Samus Aran at all? No. She would love it. No, do you? In fact, I want you I want you guys working all night to make this pinball table for her. You got it. She's the hero <laughs> of the universe, she deserves it. Mission complete, good job, dude. So this is just kind of hanging around in one table. In multi-mission, you can go to all the different places, because there's like, like four places. Okay. It's, uh, Defendrana Drifts, it's, uh, the Pirate Frigate, it's Talon 4, and the Phazon Mine, so why don't we go ahead and check that yeah. place out? let's check that out. I can't believe she's dead. What on earth did you do? Well played, we actually got on the leaderboard, how about that? Awesome. That's very loud, I'm sorry. Do, D. There. There, there. we go. Hey. Oh, wow, just under Dan. Dan? I love how Samus has 500,000 points, she would. And that's, that's like your loss. It just dumps you right back to title. Okay, well, uh, yeah, let's check out the multi-mission. Hey, I'll try multi-mission then. This one, you only got place, two places to choose from, either Talon Overworld or Pirate Frigate. Done and, and done. And well, for, let's do the pirate. Of course, for a variety's sake. I mean, the game starts at the Pirate Frigate after all, does it not? Ooh. Me likey, me likey. Right, here we go, here we go. And it means we get to fight the the Parasite Queen or whatever. We got a rockin' soundtrack remix of Planet Zebes. Hey, it's still better than the GBA sound chip. Rock on! 
See, this is when more bounty hunters come to help you. You get Dog the Bounty Hunter, you get Boba Fett, and you get everybody coming in just to, just to help Miss Aaron. Well, uh, I'm pretty sure... Oh, oh, to, to help her, okay. Well, I mean, I... Because it was, it was a fight, well, I'm afraid it's kind of one-sided. Oh, true, true. Yeah, Dog the Bounty Hunter is going to turn her into a Christian after this. If he finds her. <laughs> I mean, guys in one city, he spends weeks trying to find one guy. I was just thinking his jurisdiction's in Florida, never the, mind. The minute <laughs> Samus hits, hits hyperdrive, he's out of his jurisdiction. <laughs> ah. should have, I should have bumped. It's alright, it's alright. Well, yeah, they had the gyroscope working like the 3DS does. It could, like, eh. You know, did the, uh... <sighs> I have never used table tilting or bumping. It do it actually helps. It's it's supposed to to guide the ball, but the thing is, if you do it too much, it'll trigger the table's uh, tilt sensitivity. Oh, right, right. You got an artifact, and then it, that's how you hit tilt. But as I recall, I think tilt used to be a different thing in uh, earlier forms of pinball, like like '30s pinball when it was just one paddle basically. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I, I used to love playing uh, the Space Cadet pinball that was on every Windows computer. You and everybody else. Well, the thing is... Because it was great. I never used Tilt because it would always just ruin my play. So I thought that's all it did and never really understood what it did. Oh, <laughs> fish and mail, Duty J. Jeez. Ah, man. Jeez. Ah, come on. All right, go again. Final ball. Wait, did that give you two million points for a final ball? No, it was saying you get an extra ball at two million oh, points. at two million points. Okay, okay. Boy, you're having a hard time. Here's two million points. Here, how about some multi-ball? Let's get I, that going. I like multi-ball action. Ooh, yeah, and we get the, the good theme from Metroid Prime. <laughs> Which one? Exactly. No, I always like this theme. It always makes me just a... Da -da 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 -da. Okay, here comes some bad guys. Let's fight them. I got yeah. power the chosen suit with me. Oh yeah, come on, power the chosen suit. <laughs> it's here with me. Gonna shoot some Metroid, shoot with glee. So, this reminds me a lot when we played Kirby's Pinball Land. Is it the pinball aspect or the? Uh... <laughs> it's the pinball aspect, and that if I were to reimagine Metroid as a pinball game, then, you know, this would be about the closest thing I get. So, like, pinball staple of a bunch of different games and I love when they start doing themes like I still think Ruby and Sapphire pinball is probably one of the best pinball games I've ever played see I played the original Pokemon pinball I love that so yeah so you you can't really go wrong with pinball there's just not much to it you're just going for that high score to kill some time game's perfect hey whoa god you know what this is missing some Senran Kagura girls. <laughs> what? <laughs> We've got the best one already! <laughs> this is missing Kirby. I'm just gonna talk about every pinball game of- Whoa! Oh, 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 fish and mailed again. A valiant effort, friend. A valiant effort. Mission over. So, do you want to play some multiplayer? That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, we can do some multiplayer. This has... So, this was probably one of Nintendo's best decisions ever, is just being able to do a wireless connection. Only one of you has to own the game in order to play it. That's brilliant. Oh, hey, it's me. Yeah, and Let's... now we just gotta wait for... Me! You to yeah. come in, so you can play with... Me! Me. Oh. I love playing with myself. I mean, what? Uh, download play. There we go. Let's see if I can play Metroid Prime Pinball. Here we go. Yeah. Since I was a young boy, I played the silver ball. Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> it's so hot down here. Oh my god. Race to 100,000 points in Magmore Caverns. Oh, duh. This is Magmore Caverns. It's not Lower North so it's Magmore. So they do have Magmore Caverns, it's just locked away in multiplayer. Yeah. Interesting. Alright. That's cool. Taking a little bit of time to download, hope you don't mind. Oh, is that what's happening? Yeah. Because uh, you're on here and you're flashing and all that. I am. So, so I better ask while we're waiting. Um, let's, let's, top, uh, let's talk top and uh, bottom of our list for Metroid games. For Metroids? That we've played so far. Oh. Uh... 
Um, hmm. I'll go, I'll go first because I got them all locked away. Why don't we do a prime subsection as well as a numbered sequel subsection? Okay. So why don't we start with the uh, numbers? All right. Uh, the numbers, uh, d- it's, it's, it's still Dread. Dread is just beautifully designed and uh, it's the best representation of the genre, I'd say. Okay. And uh, bottom is probably Metroid 2. The original Game Boy version, I'm, 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 I must add. Okay. Original Game Boy? That works. Because, yeah. like, the original Metroid hasn't aged very well. Uh-huh. And a lesser version of that on Game Boy is just... There's no place for that in this world anymore. Not when there's a remake. Yeah, I... You know, I never did finish Samus Returns, but... I know it's it's really hard. <laughs> compared to all the other Metroid games, so I, I wouldn't mind going back and giving it a shot. What about you? Uh, what's your favorite numbered uh, Metroid? Uh, I still have a soft spot for Super Metroid because it's the one I finished on my own. I didn't even use Nintendo Power. I didn't even use the internet to beat that game, and I felt very accomplished when I did. That's fair. And we're talking like 2015 when I did this. I had all the access to everything and didn't. So, yeah, I felt pretty awesome like with that. But uh, Ah. Metroid Fusion made me kind of friggin' love everything that I was seeing in this series. Metro, but, Metro Fusion was how I got in, too, so I feel that. But, uh, Dread plays like a goddamn dream. <laughs> oh, it's smooth, smooth butter. Smooth, smooth, silky butter. Ah, shit. Um, I will say I did beat Zero Mission without Internet 2. I tried my best to... Not like that's too hard. No, 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 no. It's a very easy game. In fact, when I beat Ridley, I was just like, what, already? Because the first game I played was Super Metroid, and it has Ridley and Kraid. There's a Metroid... A, I got a Metroid too. Oh, there's a a symbol there. I want that. I want that symbol. How you looking, by the way, uh, score wise? Well, I think I can see our score there in the center there between that red dot and that blue dot, and the fact that there is a first underneath where I am and probably a second under yours. How'd you guess? Because that's how that's what it says on mine. I'm gonna guess that is the heads up display so right on it. right on the pinball, which I think is a good design choice. I'm yeah, s- yeah. slowly working through it. I beat a Metroid. Cool. Oh, I there think. we go. I beat both of them. Hey, whoop, whoop. And I got another Metroid. Yeah, apparently, I think I might be the one sending those Metroids to you. Which is very interesting. It, uh, yeah, I just sent you two more Metroids to deal with. Eat that sucker. Uh, I should mention you can press B to drop a bomb. Oh, that's good to know. I never got grabbed by a Metroid, Damn it. so it's... It is A-OK. Oh, come on. I wasn't first. Get out of here with that. All right, let's move on to the Prime sub- subsections. Are we Ooh, gonna... Prime? Um, where, where are we going to include other M and Federation Force on this? I mean, well, do... well Federation Force is obviously Prime. See, I was going to have you do Hunters, uh, Federation Force, and other M with the Primes, that, since we did all those after the numbers. That makes sense. And they are all 3D, which is kind of the distinction. <laughs> so... Honestly, I think the best... I, I, I really kind of liked Metroid Prime 2. Yeah, me too! I, like, I think, I think... I think it's my favorite. I have, I have really turned around on Metroid Prime 2. I, th- I think actually beating it and understanding it and uh, changing the mindset of exploration and all that and really just kind of seeing the world for what it is. Ooh. I oh, did it! Oh, you won! I somehow bounced off a bunch of walls and... and did it. Wow. Anyway, you were saying... Good job. I just look at like the scores. Yeah, we need to oh. go again. Let's go again. Okay. Yeah, I want to go again. I, okay, I still want. I still want to talk about everything else. Go. But uh, yeah, but what were you saying? Uh, b- b- best prime is prime two. Just. Uh, I will say, uh, if I actually took the time and played the Metroids, like if I were to tomorrow go into trilogy, I think I would have the most fun story-wise with two. But gameplay-wise, I would have a lot of fun with three. I mean, I guess we could talk about Metroid Prime Remastered, but maybe another day. Who's beaten that one between the two of us? I haven't beaten it yet because I'm still pl- I was still playing through three. Correct, and I don't play games, so there we go. <laughs> but I guess I, I guess I can go back to it. Yeah, that'll be fine. Nice refresher course now it's, that uh, all the games are beaten. This game looks absolutely bloody amazing. Yeah. It's like, oh, Switch has crap graphics, and, well, about that. About that. So, worst Prime, I think that's pretty obvious. 
Well, I mean, we have so many to choose from. Yeah, we have many to choose from, but there's only one option. <laughs> mm. <laughs> okay, how's this? How about we pick two then? Okay, two. It was basically what, besides Other M, is the worst <laughs> Metroid. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. Hunters wasn't wasn't hitting too well for me. I I did not like the first person shooter aspect, it even was, though that's what Prime's all about. Specifically on the DS, I personally don't think it worked that. It, well. it, was, it was serving a different purpose. It wasn't supposed to be a Metroid on the DS. It was supposed to be a first person shooter on the DS, yeah. and that's what and that's what Metroid Prime Hunters was supposed to be. Yeah, I don't think I gelled too much with that. Even though I was just watching gameplay, it was still like. All right, can we can we move on to the next thing? I'll agree. It was a shooter first and a Metroid second. No, get out of here, Metroid. Get out. And uh, and we can all agree, Federation Force wasn't even a Metroid game to begin with. Oh, the the fact that I fucked up your audio for that should have been a sign. That, yeah, uh, right. This was this was never gonna be a thing. Entirely my bad. It's 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 so dull too. There's no overarching story. It's just go do go do the thing. And nope, Samus is doing stuff somewhere. Didn't we also get lost during that video? I, th I think so. It's so uh, it's. I, I didn't think it would be that bad, especially when people have been kind of re like reemerging their uh, their support of the game. Everybody like, you know, like, like, reemerges you know, like, on a game. Like, you know what? It, it isn't that bad because you know the, the, the initial backlash, and uh, then the actual criticism is what lingers. But nah, still bad game. Still dumb bad game. Don't play it. It's it's dumb and bad and boring, and you deserve better. It's poopy. It's you, disgusting. You. You as a consumer deserve better. I'm gonna I'm gonna lose this again. I love pinball. I'm bad at it, but I love playing it. Shit! <laughs> oh, you lose points if you lose your ball. Yeah, I think I think that's the thing. And up, uh, I think I'm about to win this. You are about to win this. I just went to second place. Ninety-nine thousand. All right, I need to pick up the pace. Can you hurry up and beat just me? Just get so the points while you got to. There you go. Ah, there we go. There we go. Yeah, getting that symbol, that's just a win. I found out. It gives you like 30,000 points out of the 100,000 that you're trying to collect. Ridiculous. So it's one to one. One more? I could go one more. I could go one more too. I Let's do it. This, I mean, it is, it is a solid pinball game, but it's not Metroid. But it did. I mean, it is. But it did. It, it's. It's. I mean, I honestly don't think they were trying to make it a Metroid game. It's just like here's the Metroid license, make a pinball. You see, this is before I think Metroid had a real identity, and indeed Metroid Manias in general had their own identity. Hey, so there were so many of them out by then. What do you mean? And Nintendo didn't understand that. They just they like <laughs> they don't understand like half the things they own. Like I, I think Metroid Prime selling as much as it did like broke their brain when it came to Metroid. <laughs> just. <laughs> Because they said, okay, make another one, and then it didn't sell as well, and they're like, uh, okay, then we'll try. And so they made a Metroid Prime uh, demo for the DS, where you touch, and they're like, ooh, that's, okay, okay, they like that, people like that, they're, they're, they're going on to that. And then they just, then they just make games that aren't, like, like, they were trying to Mario Metroid, I think, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. Like, here's, Mar here's a Metroid-branded pinball game, here's, it. yep. All, all, all that kind of stuff, you know, where they they don't really know what makes a Metroid game yet, but Retro, Retro Studios, they knew. I was, look, I was looking into uh, the development of Metroid, and do you know how much input Miyamoto actually had for Metroid Prime? I'm going to go with uh, next to none. Uh, basically, he came in, took a look over everything, like, once a month, and was just like, okay, keep going. <laughs> he, he honestly does not know what to do with a lot of the franchises. That's why... Star Fox is in a lull, that's why uh, F-Zero is in a lull. Sci-Fi is not their strong point. They need a they need a dedicated sci-fi uh, developer. Damn it. Yeah, I, I agree with that. Because that's that's why they got a whole bunch of medieval stuff, because they know how to do that just fine. They, they, they got that in droves. They're, they're doing that perfectly, perfectly well. Yeah, a lot of that stuff is based off their childhood experiences. That's where Legend of Zelda came from. Yeah, but but sci-fi is a bit more complicated than that. you got you got to yep. make more complex worlds, and that's a bit harder to... To, to, to visualize. It's a new world, old man. That's why when it comes to Xenoblade Chronicles X, they're like, uh... Whoa! They got, got. But when it comes to the first three Xenoblade Chronicles, yeah, just throw it on Switch, no big deal. But with the sci-fi one, uh... I don't know, the, the Xenoblade Chronicles is, has a little bit of sci-fi in it, more than I would expect from Nintendo, but that's why you you let the original dev take care of it. Don't worry, they'll, they'll, they'll help you. It's, I think that's gonna be the final swan song. 
<laughs> That's gonna be the last thing on Switch, isn't it? The first game for Switch 2, Xenoblade Chronicles XZ. Hell yeah. yeah. Can't wait. Can't wait for Niskel Thomas to actually strike on this one. It was my, it was my prediction! <laughs> Can't steal my predictions but and call I them your own! I gave it a name! <laughs> God, I got a name for you! Asshole! Oh, well, no, wait, no. <laughs> that, wait, that's a good one. I'm gonna take that! <laughs> I have a great idea for a name I can call my friend! So now that we've, uh, taken care of, you know, the... The, the best of the number, the, the worst of the prime and all that... Yeah. What, overall, is the best Metroid? Mm. Like, when you think of Metroid, you think of... What? Well, personal bias, unfortunately, comes into this. But I'm gonna say, if you want the most Metroid bang for your buck, that's gonna be Dread. Mm-hmm. Especially, like, modern. Yeah, you gotta go for Dread. That, that's the one that had the broad appeal, honestly. It, I, I, because it's the best realization of, of the genre. It's they they gave. See, when Met, when Nintendo gives Metroid to a developer who knows what to do with it, then they do great things. Retro knew what they wanted to do with Metroid. Well, for the most part, kind of. Damn. Good job. Good job. Yeah, that's, that was good. I mean, these guys wanted to make a pinball game, and they did, you know, that they, they turned Metroid Prime into a pinball table, and they they did it. I think, I honestly think these devs are, like, strictly pinball, like... They are. Th they were in charge of all the other pinball games, so... They're, they're not they're not around anymore, but they but they mostly did pinball games, and that's it. They're good at their craft. Look they at are. that. All right. Any last words? Uh, d I don't, I don't think there's much left to say. I mean... Metroid is uh, one of my favorite game series of all time because it really it's it, it's taught me about exploration and uh, the the uh, strength of level and world design and uh, I think ever since playing the Metroid series it's kind of changed my outlook on games revisiting has been an absolute joy absolute wonder and now I've got a goal this year where I'm just playing a whole bunch of Metroidvanias and I'm just trying to yeah. Well, it could be either chasing that high or just trying to <laughs> trying to support this 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 genre of games. That's just absolutely fantastic, and I really hope I hope that I can revisit Metroid again when they have a new game to come out in the near future. See you in three years when we do Metroid Prime Remastered and Metroid Prime Four gets announced the same year, baby. Make all your, make all your jokes, but uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna end on, on a high note and said you know thanks thanks so much Metroid. I'm I'm glad we played it. I can't wait for the next one. Thanks for watching, everybody. See, See you, you next, next mission. mission.